Hey yo, what's up champions fam, it's Zeke Forno, back with a brand new WWE Champions video. As you can tell by my voice, I am exhausted, we just finished up on feuds, and um, we are going to see the conclusion of Modern Era Striker Alexa Bliss, Player Pain's debut contest come to an end in a couple of hours. What an interesting conundrum of a weekend. On one side, I was very excited to see Alexa Bliss, Player Pain, come into the game. A new version, a mega superstar variant that she rightfully deserved, especially after all this time. Versatile move set, incredible coaching ability, helping out with not only power gem users, but protect gem users. Then solid tag team links with Modern Era, Raw, and a brand new Firefly Funhouse link. She's definitely the Fiend's best friend moving forward in the game, but she's also highly, highly useful for other characters, both offensively and defensively. Uh, a great addition when it comes to running showdowns with the Raw link, of course. There's a lot of ways that she benefits your account. The Mega Superstar loot was still was stacked solid. The limited time tours are hitting a miss for you, depending on who you are. Either you had the superstars that were needed or not, but the resources were there. The opportunity was there. Store and portal offers were pretty beast mode as well. Um, especially with some of the offers that came around and the prices that they were at, they were definitely easy clap pickups if you were someone who likes to spend. Uh, we also got some really cool stuff too. Um, the faction contest, it is what it is. The solo contest was dope because you had the choice. You could spend money. You could work on certain superstars of a specific class and era. And you can grind out feuds. You didn't have to go right to Mega Superstar loopholes. It was always going to be an option, but you could get pretty far absolutely free. And depending on how deep you got and depending on how far you were willing to go, you might have walked away with an absolutely free Alexa Bliss, let alone some loot coins for free. And that might have led to you picking up Alexa Bliss that way or picking up somebody top notch. They even introduced a real cool marquee, uh, a marquee situation, a marquee tour, the last man standing, tag team action. I don't know if it was a glitch or not, but a lot of players were able to spam that over and over until they actually had to spin tickets again. And that helped out a lot of people picking up key resources like uh, high star rarity tokens, let alone blitz tickets for the grind that's up and coming. T5 medals, shards, uh, shards for Undertaker. This was a good look. There was a lot of good stuff that happened this weekend, and I have to give the uh, Scopely their due. But then there was the other side of things, man, and that's when things just don't bode well. Um, it's just the, it's just being real. It's just being honest. Um, when I look at what was taking place with the game here, there was a lot of opportunity. There was a lot to make things um right. You had everything in the pocket. But the one thing that messed this up for me was the feud situation. Now, me being from North America on the East Coast of North America, a lot of the times for all the feuds were manageable. It was just a question of requirements and being able to put forth the effort, depending on who you are, right? That's like anybody. You can have the best roster ever and they can do a lineup for one feud that just put you out put you out put you out of the equation just because you weren't expecting to utilize certain characters and you weren't ready for it it always happens right but there's always a way to make up for it now with the first few with the waifus the striker waifus you know they wrote that wrong they removed Zaska. they put in an open slot so people could have a better chance with utilizing different waifus to get their points up cool but the final feud is something that makes me mad because with the debut of such an incredible card, why would you screw your player base? Why would you screw your community? Knowing that a lot of people across the pond, all right, the times are different with people. You know, it could be night where you're at and it's daytime somewhere else. You can be getting ready to go to sleep. Somebody's already working a shift or getting ready to go in to work getting their kids ready for school. I was truly disappointed with this feud because they had time to make things right and they chose not to. They, they chose not to. And what made it even worse was the new update. So I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to say this right now because it, it's an update that, in my opinion, 
is the worst update to come to WWE champions. So for those of you who were affected, like yours truly, I'm sorry that you had to deal with it. Now, there were players in the community that didn't deal with nothing. They didn't deal with the lag. You know how bad it is to think that this is, this, I'll put something in perspective to you. You know how bad it is to see your opponent make their gem match and they're not done yet, but the, the computer, the AI decides to notify you that your character's already dead and the, and, 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 and the stuff isn't even done yet. Like the gems are still falling. You might think you're going to catch a break somewhere. Nah, you're already dead. It's already letting you know that you, you lost the match. Or the being a constant stun lock and you can't leave now because of how they got things sorted out. Making a gem match in the move and, 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 and the board not, uh, not change up so you can go to the next turn. Opting to use your moves and you can't use them. There was a lot of problems with this feud that just added on to the poor times and it just ruined the experience. The contest side of things was great, but when we got to feuds, feuds just fell apart. It was so hard for people to get requirements, to get matches. People were dealing with Red Ring when they never had to deal with Red Ring ever, never had an issue with it. So this is what I'm going to tell y'all now. If you go into your app store, they got situations that can that can basically, you know, when you go to update your your apps, it'll auto like auto uh, auto update. Moving forward, y'all, go to WWE Champions and basically ensure that you don't auto update, yo, because this is one of those updates that just ruined the experience for multiple people throughout the community, and there's nothing really positive that came from it. For me personally, I mentioned this in the pre in a past video with Ronda Rousey. I went to do my moves. Couldn't do my moves. Went to do the gem match to blow up the board to finish the match. Wouldn't allow me to do that either. Then I would go to quit. Still got stuck in the match. Then if you sit for 10 minutes, it kicks you out. So then you got to think about it like that too. Okay, well, you're not allowing me to get my moves off. I go to do a gem match. Nothing's happening. I go to quit the match. You're not going to let me go. So now I have to uh, I have to ultimately force close the app down, reopen and try stuff over again. Or it'll hit you with this. You'll get stuck in there. You might have even won the match, but it doesn't even notify you that you uh, won the match. So then you're going through all this crap where you come back into the game. And yay, I got a three star on this match somehow or a one star on this match. And it's on to the next one. This is just one of the worst situations ever. The red ring was horrendous. So many people just suffered this uh, this weekend. And I'm telling you, I feel so bad for my, for my brothers and sisters, my broskies and my siskies that are international, that are all around the world, because we all suffered one way or the other. But I feel like players from, from, from like, you know, UK and everything, I think they had it the worst. It made no sense. So think about it. You stay up to commit to help to do fuse, and then you got to turn around and go to work. You got to get your kids ready. I don't like stuff like this. I don't like when when champions does something where in a situation where they know better. They've been doing feuds long enough, flash feuds long enough. They know the time zones. They know the times that work. They know the times that don't. And what pisses me off is the simple fact is that I've seen the messages. I've seen. Yo, I have to keep going back to this every once in a blue moon just so, so y'all understand, man. A lot of people get mad and say people don't care about the community. There are tons of men and women inside Town Hall that fight every single day before this feud even went live, went active. As soon as they saw the times, you had leaders from the top factions all coming down and saying, this is not going to work. This is not going that this is this is just going to be a bad move on your side. Don't do it. And they do it. So it gets sad. A lot of people always try to come down in Facebook groups and stuff or wherever. It'd be like people don't care. They set it up so the whales win. They set it up for the top factions to win. And then I'm sitting back looking at the messages from, you know, the top factions, top five, top ten 
top 50 hit a hit at like, you know, heavy hitters. And they're all sitting there basically making the same plea for everybody in the community to be like, yo, make this shit right. Make the times better. Make like, come on. Like y'all know better. There's no excuse. And I just really got nothing really positive to say on it. Like I said, Alexa's debut was cool. The contests were cool. The community events need to improve with the rewards. It's a hit and a miss with them. Too inconsistent. I understand why the rewards are better for those who spend money. But at the same time, when you got everybody coming together to form Voltron during piss poor times for feuds and having to deal with all the different types of glitches and red rings... And we literally have to wait until the final milestone to pick up a million coins. I can spend 25 bucks or 30 bucks and pick up 30. Uh, the, I can pick up 3 million coins out of the first milestone for the solo. But the global contest where everybody is working together, we have to get to the 10th and final milestone. 10th, 11th, 12th, you get the point for a measly 1 million. But if I spend 30 to 30 bucks, 25 bucks, the first milestone guarantees me three mil, two or three. It's ludicrous. It's absolutely ludicrous. And it's one of those things that just puts you in a bad mood. Like, I love this game. I love the people. Better yet, I love the people that I met through this game. And being blessed with the situation that I've been put in where I can see everybody's point of view and understand it. It's just sad when this type of stuff happens. This is one of the situations where you had a great superstar debut, had good contests. Again, you didn't have to spend money if you didn't want to. You had opportunities at free pools, and you could just grind out feud, grind out feud, work on some superstars, and do everything you can. And obviously, other things tie into helping out with the faction. A lot of people were walking away with um, Zombie Brian earlier on in the week. A lot of people picked up some great straps from the prize wall. There was a lot of good things going here, but the feuds from the timing to the lag, the red rings, to all the glitches and bugs that people had to endure, it just, it just sharded all over the weekend, man. So I, I know that this is the last week we're near it. We're about, we're basically about to wrap up the, um, uh, the beasties and beauties. Um, back to back waifus and mega superstars, more than likely we're not, uh, I would love to see them bring in Alundra Blaze. I'd love to see some new gen representation in this MLC aside from the Bushwhackers, but champions and scope league are always going to have their own agenda. And this is one of the situations where, um, like I said earlier, learn for, learn from mistakes, learn from my mistakes and others mistakes. Y'all, um, when it comes to an update like this, this was an absolutely horrible update. So if you haven't been forced to update your game yet, go into your Apple store, go into your Google store, do what you need to do. And, and, and basically make sure that when it comes to auto updates, you don't, for you don't auto, you don't automatically update champions because this brand new update is, is horrible. It affected everybody and it was a morale killer. It was a true morale killer. A lot of great opportunities this past uh, past weekend to pick up new superstars, get a lot of goodies from the uh, from the um, Spring Outbreak Three contest to Alexa Bliss's debut with the solo faction limited time tours mega superstar loot. There was a lot of good pros going on this uh, this entire past week, let alone this past weekend. But once feuds went live. And once we started to see the true face and identity of this latest update, it was all downhill. It was truly all downhill. And I can honestly say it wasn't Alexa's fault. No, nah, it was the good old folks over at Scopely. And to see how many people stood up for the community and town hall and to know that things, you know, some things worked out, some things didn't. We had to change over from Acom to Kofi. We have a lot of stuff going on, man. And then it, to have this... I, I, it's, well, it's, it's a sour note. It's a sour, a sour note, and it's going to take a lot to make things sweet again. But the community deserved better. And this is what we got. And to some people, they, they can say that they can, that they are cool with it, but I'm not. I'm not. Um, Scopely knows better. They, ma they make enough money. They've done these situations over and over again, multiple times over, that they could have easily made this uh, feud. They could have made this entire weekend block of content go by without any issues. And uh, as always, 
they get richer and the community suffers or pays for it one way or the other. And we've gotten a lot of positives. We've gotten a lot of pros. But the cons are always going to hit harder just because a lot of us have now built a thick skin because we're prepped for it. We It's not even that we're looking for it, but if it pops up, we're like, oh, here we go again. It's not. It's like you're hoping for the best and then you still end up getting the worst case scenario each time. But we'll bounce back. We'll definitely bounce back. It's just a shame that a, a, a that such a beauty like Alexa Bliss player pain had to debut during such ugly and horrendous situations that were out of her control. She's merely a card. The people that run the business is the ones that met, set up things. So, hey, yo, bad times don't last, but champions do. Mad love always and forevermore to each and every single one of you of my beloved hashtag champions fam. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive all future notifications from yours truly, the bad guy of WWE champion Zeke Fono. And until next time, let's chop it up within the comments below. Not a lot of energy on this one. Did my part. I know a lot of you did. Um, let me know your thoughts on the rewards. Were any of you able to pick up Alexa for free? Um, what other zombie goodies did y'all pick up for free too with the bags that pertain to that? Which of y'all factions were able to go go to distance and get zombie Brian for free and also get his gear or Zaska's gear? What did you pick up on a prize wall? And uh, how was your feud outing this past weekend? Were you able to do all three? Were you able to do them all? Or were you limited due to where you live at and time zones and you know just availability because people have lives this is just a game uh this is one of those situations kind of similar to other times in the past where you get a good superstar the contest is solid but then there's always another part to it there's always another part that plays into it and you never know what it's going to be you never know what it's going to be so we'll see I knew that because I said that she was a true agent of chaos she, she was unpredictable but this this uh, this weekend took the cake for me. So I'm about I'm going to go get some sleep. I'll be up with another video soon. We'll see where where Beasties and Beauties goes as we get ready to round things out and near the conclusion. Alexa's contest is about the uh, about to wrap up. The zombie spring outbreaks about to wrap up. Knock out everything you need. Recoup. Look forward to the next limited time tour available for the Beasties and Beauties MLC. And we shall wait to see how things unfold for more than likely this week's showdown tournament unless they double up on a few due to the short time period only time will tell and who is the last mega superstar to debut until next time stay tuned mad love always peace